Welcome to Pen on Pen. Over the next 24 hours, we're going to show you exactly what you can do in the capital city of Cambodia. One person, five dollars. Five dollars. How long? For one hour. For one hour? Yeah, yeah. When, when at sunset or now? So for just five USD, we've got a sunset cruise for an hour on the river with a free beer. We spent two days cruising down the Mekong from Thailand to Laos and we were like, oh, never doing that again. Never going on a Mekong cruise. We've had enough of that. Two weeks later, here we are on the Mekong again on a sunset cruise with a beer. <laughs> <laughs> and we're paying for it. It's not even free. Yeah, we're paying for it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to this. It'd be cool to see the city. <laughs> oh, how do I open that? Oh. Love that. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, Ooh. sunset cruise down the Mekong once again. So we started our sunset cruise across the Mekong River. But the actual other river we're on is the Tonle Sap. I think it comes from the big lake further up near Siem Reap. We've got some beautiful sunset views. This river is so wide, it almost feels like a lake. It's actually quite crazy. Right, we are off the boat. Honestly, they play Cambodian music and it was a bit loud, but yeah, it was quite a nice cruise. You saw over the river. I would recommend it, but don't expect too much and then just enjoy the little experience and you'll yeah. like it. Enjoy the Cambodian, Cambodian Kerma music. music. <laughs> if you don't fancy going on a sunset cruise on the river, then you should definitely walk along this river front because there's just so much life to this city. There's so many people like playing football, selling things, like doing exercise classes. It's, like, it's just good fun to like kind of walk in and seeing what all the locals are up to. So now, as it is night time, we are heading to the night market. I've heard some good things about this one, so hopefully we can find some good food, maybe some other stuff, see what they sell there. So, let's go. We have reached the night market. It's just across this busy road. Here we go. Here we are. Pen on pen night market. So we are sitting on the floor in this night market. I've just ordered some chicken fried noodle, which was 10,000 or $2.50. Not a bad portion. Looking forward to this. It feels quite different like sitting on the floor for once. It's a bit weird, but I like it. The food here is more expensive than Siem Reap, probably because it's like a proper, what's it called? A tourist night market rather than more of a local one. So yeah, there we go. Let's have a dig in. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. So we just got this homemade coconut ice cream, 5,000 real, $1.25. And it also comes with some free coconut water, which is honestly amazing, straight fresh out of the coconut. Um, but yeah, this coconut ice cream has like some, a bit of sweet corn in it, and then like a few peanuts, and then coconut, actual pieces of coconut, and then the coconut ice cream itself. So it's like a full kind of pudding dessert. It's brilliant, really tasty as well, really sweet. I think there's a bit of condensed milk on top, but recommend getting this, really tasty. We have just left the night market and honestly, it's not huge. There's not like loads to see. There's some Asian food, which was really good. Uh, obviously the coconut ice cream, but yeah, there's not like a massive night market you might find in like Thailand or somewhere, but still worth checking out here in Pen on Pen. We are going to head back to our hotel now because tomorrow morning we're doing a very important and a must-do activity here in Phnom Penh and also if you're just coming to Cambodia in general. So we'll see you in the morning for that. I decided to voice over this section as honestly I don't really know how to talk about it. You may know that during 1975 to 1979 there was a systematic prosecution and killing of Cambodian citizens by the Khmer Rouge, which was run by Pol Pot. We went on a tour where you were taken to two spots. The first, S21 prison, which is where you get an audio guide which describes what happens at the time. You walk around the makeshift prison, previously a school where Cambodians were tortured. The second spot you were taken to the killing fields just outside Pen on Pen, where you walk around the grounds listening to an audio guide where thousands of Cambodians were killed during the 1970s. Both visits can be quite a lot to take in, with the horrific events happening less than 50 years ago. 
I've left a link to the tour we did in the description below and another video which explains in more detail of what happened in Cambodia. So it is the afternoon now, we've had some lunch and just been kind of reflecting on just how hard it is to digest what happened just less than 50 years ago. And I think it's, if you are coming to Cambodia, I think it is something you have to look into and just learn about because it is just a horrific event. But anyway, we turning the table and trying to be a bit more positive because this country is amazing. We're gonna have a look around the city this afternoon and show you some different spots that you should come to in Phnom Penh. Pen. Have you got a cold? Cold? Cold. Yeah? Two? Do you Three want one? So after about 10 minutes of walking, we have sat down here in the shade because it is just too hot to walk around. We got these Cokes to cool us down. They were about 3,000 each, I think. Yeah, 3,000 real. pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. Not $3,000, otherwise that would be very expensive. <laughs> but hopefully it's going to cool down a bit and we can actually go to like, maybe have a look at some of the temples, like the Royal Gardens and stuff, because honestly, in midday, it is too hot to do anything here in Penal Pen, especially at the moment, and it's only February. It's only yeah. gonna get hotter from now on. Make sure you're doing things early in the morning and late at night. Yeah, for sure. There are so many pigeons around this area. Something to keep us entertained whilst we sit in the shade. These little kids are playing with them. Hey, pigeon. We just got some uh, like little bits of corn for the pigeons for like a thousand reel or two thousand reel, which is pretty good. And look, here they all are. Let's go get them. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I feel like the pigeon king. <laughs> <laughs> so you get pooed on. We have just booked a tuk tuk on Grab, so it should be here any minute. I think that's in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Hello. So we are off to the central market. Um, and this ride is only costing 4,000 real, which is actually like insane at how cheap it is. It's so cheap, you feel like you want to give it a tip. So yeah, we'll give more money because it just feels a bit outrageous. But yeah, this is like, there are so many tuk-tuks in Penal Pen and it is the best way to get around because they're not as big like cars or taxis. I've never seen tuk-tuks have a grab option, so that's pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you. So we have just arrived at the central market and this building is actually quite grand. It's like a big white building in the middle of like all the streets. It's quite cool. Let's have a look. This is a lot more, looks like a more local market rather than the more touristy night market we went to yesterday. Got some shoes over there. Shoes, watches. Probably get some good deals here. Wow. Oh, this one says no tuk-tuk. That would be convenient whilst yeah. traveling. No tuk-tuk. Anyone who asks, do you want a tuk-tuk? You say no tuk-tuk. It'd just be like, yeah. Oh, there's another, another one. one. <laughs> <laughs> so there's so much you can buy from shoes, bags, jewelry, clothes, literally anything. So if you need anything to pick up whilst you're here in Penn on Pen, you can pick some really good deals up. I think 10 t-shirts were like 10,000 real, so pretty cheap. Really good. Yeah, pretty cheap. Octopus, lobsters. There's loads of different types of live fish around here. I think this is like a wet market. Joel just said no tuk tuk to this guy. We were like, we need the t-shirt that says yeah. no tuk tuk. It is crazy here. So you've got all like these older bits because it feels like quite an old city, but there are so many new skyscrapers compared to when I was here last time. Like, look at this one just up here. Looks like there's a proper sky deck up there. Maybe it's a hotel or something. We just picked up some more coconut water like we did last evening and this one's so good. It's like super sweet, just how I like it. 4,000 real, just a dollar. It's also got like coconut, fresh coconut bits in it so you can eat it as well. Yeah. Once gonna... you're done with the drink. The one crazy thing about here in Penon Pen is the just difference in wealth. You get, obviously there are some slums here in Penon Pen, but then you also get like Range Rovers, big cars. We've seen- Lamborghinis. Lamborghinis. We've seen so many Porsches, so many like big expensive luxury car shops. It's just crazy like the difference in wealth here. So that was 24 hours in Penon Pen. Honestly, I think you should spend about two days here. Obviously there's not loads to do like other cities like Bangkok, but it's a really interesting city. Good to walk around, but just, Remember, in the middle of the day, it gets so hot here. So you kind of have to take a couple of hours to break or have a, like a nice coffee um, somewhere. Again, guys, if you do come to Penel Pen or Cambodia, make sure you do the Killing Fields and S21 prison. It's so important to learn about what happened and the horrific history here. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe and, and we'll see you in the next video in Vietnam. Bye. Bye.